Yeah, we now continue with the second uh, session of this afternoon. And that is really to look at the technologies we developed and how that can be picked up by companies in the different regions. So I think if I go to the next slide, I expect that something is happening. We will start with the presentation of the food circles. You have seen this morning the results of food circle one, the technology uh, in the container this morning. We will continue with uh, the three other um, uh, food circles by Kosha, by Leonor, and unfortunately, my colleague Martijntje can't be here, so I will give her a presentation. And then we have a panel discussion, what we learned from the interaction in the regions from the, the uh, companies and the different stakeholders that visited the containers, that did individual demonstrations. And we would like to share that with you. And then at the end, uh, Bjorn will tell more about business opportunities and business model of our technologies. But I'm a food scientist. I'm a processing technology expert, so let's start with the technology. And I think the first one is Kosha. So may I ask Kosha to come? And I th let's see. It's for you. The, will be more technological. Um, and uh, today you saw uh, the container which where we can produce the juices. So I want you to present the, another container which was uh, developed uh, during the Fox project, which uh, uh, we can uh, use for production the dried uh, fruits and vegetables. So generally, we um, the idea is that uh, we can uh, put this container uh, on the farm uh, and uh, the uh, farmers uh, with their surplus can uh, uh, pro proceed uh, with uh, uh, this fruit, vegetables, mushrooms and other um, products like also herbs. Uh, we can um, preserve some uh, valuable compounds uh, and also uh, flavor and aroma of uh, the uh, fruits and vegetables. We use uh, low temperature drying. The low temperature drying is around uh, 70 Celsius degree. Uh, this is still a low uh, temperature because generally in the um, production, uh, drying production, it is used much higher temperature, even a uh, uh, few hundred uh, um, Celsius degrees. So, um, the idea was to use the uh, novel technology, which was uh, um, uh, we tried different technology, pulse electric field, ultrasound, and high hydrostatic pressure um, with our um, process uh, of drying. So we start from the science uh, to produce the uh, drying container to food production. Uh, and. Uh, uh, and generally, we um, study different technology in laboratory. So it was pulse electric field, uh, high hydrostatic pressure, and ultrasounds. Generally, there are different mechanisms of these uh, processes, but uh, the idea is to rupture the integrity of the cell's membrane to uh, make easier and faster the drying. So we want to shorter the drying time to obtain better quality of the product and uh, um, uh, to shorter uh, this process. Uh, so uh, this method uh, with combining different novel technologies and different method of drying, like for example, hot uh, air drying, um, like convective air drying or microwave uh, drying, or also uh, vacuum drying, let us uh, to also reduce the drying time. 
okay? Each technology is each method of drying also help us to reduce drying uh, time. And um, for example, for uh, different uh, methods like vacuum drying, we also reduce uh, the air around the during the process and it is also helpful to preserve the valuable compounds in the uh, fruit and vegetables okay so um, we also analyze uh, different methods with uh, different uh, fruit and vegetables uh, as well as mushrooms uh, and on the basis of these uh, parameters we obtain quite good results that we can reduce uh, the drying time around 24 percent in case of apples uh, also this led us to reduce the energy consumption uh, up to 27 percent. Uh, so um, on the basis of this result, we optimize uh, this process and uh, choose the best parameters for obtaining the shorter drying time and still high uh, quality of the products. Uh, and we choose as a parameters high uh, antioxidant activity. And on this basis, we uh, develop this uh, method in the container. So uh, on this basis, the small scale um, fruit and vegetable dryer was uh, um, uh, designed and uh, in real looks like that. So generally, uh, we start with the pulse electric field uh, treatment, which is quite short and uh, uh, it takes uh, no more than a few minutes. Uh, and then we can uh, cut uh, the fruits and vegetables in a special form. Uh, generally, we can do this uh, with the um, uh, hand cutters or also the mechanical cutters uh, and then uh, we have the uh, dryer, but uh, before we put on the shelves, on the trolley, the cut uh, material. Then uh, we put the uh, trolley into the dryer and uh, then after the drying, uh, we can uh, pack the, uh, our, our product. And the heart of this uh, con container is the uh, dryer, which was designed uh, with uh, Cedrus Compana. And we have the um, uh, dryer, which is a typical one, we can say, because this is the convective dryer. But also in this dryer, we can uh, uh, use the infrared lights which faster as uh, the drying process. Uh, so this is the another energy sources of the, uh, of the um, drying. And another issue is that the uh, air, um, uh, air flow vertically. So it means that um, uh, also the um, humidity of the air are um, taking off uh, from the dryer quite fast, as well as we have the rotating um, trolley, which gives us the opportunity to um, have the homogeneity during the uh, whole process. Uh, so generally it uh, works quite nice. Uh, still, there is necessary to have uh, some manual work that we have to put on the shelves uh, the uh, product. Here is the rotating of the um, trolleys uh, and um, generally we can obtain uh, quite good um, efficiency because uh, we can use uh, two trolleys. So when one is inside the dryer and it's dried, uh, the drying takes around one and a half hour for the whole batch. Uh, the second uh, trolley can be prepared during this time. So we can be uh, more or less, uh, we can assure the continuous way of this uh, production. Uh, so what we learn from this uh, um, steps uh, for, for this uh, um, project, uh, we know that uh, 
the PEF treatment is good for hard materials. So generally, this is uh, give us the opportunity that uh, this will be um, product will be easier uh, cut. Uh, also, the samples will not be so damaged uh, during the cutting, and also uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, also PEF treatment can influence on the color and also um, some. Uh, some uh, um, chemical compounds uh, in in the uh, fruits and vegetables. Also, we have to consider uh, about post electric field in which uh, products we can use and which parameters we can apply it for this uh, treatment because it is not uh, always working if we uh, set. Uh, something uh, which is not uh, uh, proper um, uh, checked, uh, it also uh, not uh, work well. Uh, and also we uh, know that what we're obtaining in the laboratory is not the same what we're obtaining in the bigger scale. So generally, it is still necessary to uh, do some optimization parameters also on the bigger scale. Because uh, the, each dryer have their own characteristics. So generally, uh, what we're obtaining in the laboratory is not the same even if we use the same parameters. Um, it will be a little bit different. And we can, uh, using optimization in the bigger scale, we can also um, obtain better results. So for example, you can also try some apples, which we obtained in um, in this project, uh, they are on the table, so generally um, they are quite creepsy, uh, and uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, possibility to obtain the uh, different snacks um, with this uh, novel technology combined with the drying process. What is also quite nice uh, that we all know that the Apples are collected in atom, and uh, we have uh, um, we storage them uh, eight nine months uh, in modified atmosphere when we eating them uh, fresh. Uh, however, at the end of the storage, there are um, not very good quality. But also with this technology, we can obtain quite nice quality of dried apples. It's still, maybe it won't be so a lot of uh, bioactive compounds inside, but still it will be a lot of fiber, which uh, um, we don't have uh, and we not, not consume so much uh, nowadays. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what we learned from yeah. this part. Thank you very much, uh, Kosha. <laughs> We have uh, time for one or two short questions. So, yeah, Milan. Wait, wait. Yeah, oh, wait, uh, Milan. And a short question I ask you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is very short. One farmer who took part at the meeting, at the workshop, asked me for the price of that box. He is willing to buy it. That is very good. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. You can uh, answer. Okay, uh, I can answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, generally, the price uh, of this um, uh, container, uh, it's uh, uh, yeah. It's changing now still because also the container it's the big uh, part of this uh, of this um, uh, yeah of this share and uh, um, also the pulse uh, electric field uh, treatment device is uh, um, quite uh, uh, expensive in this uh, in this um, uh, container so generally. Um, yeah, but Kosha, he's telling yeah. that the demonstration worked. Yeah, the and farmer, and farmer uh, is interested. Is yeah. interested, and of course, they always ask about price. And yeah. uh, Bjorn will tell more about it. Uh, not yeah. the exact price of the container, but it's good that farmers yeah. were so enthusiastic; they want to buy. I. Uh,
We will yeah. discuss later on. Okay. Uh, is there another short question for Kosha? Here. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, wait for the microphone, and the people at the back Thank can you. also hear you. Uh, I have a small technical question. When you talked about the drying process, you mentioned that you used the infrared light during the process in combination with the conventional drying. Um, can I know how infrared helped the drying process, and if you compared it to other drying techniques? Uh, generally, it's. Uh, also, it depends what parameters we use. We generally use lower temperature when we use the lamps because also the lamps give us the heat. So we don't want to exceed uh, some temperature to not lower the quality. Um, so it is uh, difficult to compare just like that because uh, when we use 70 Celsius degree during the convective drying and for example, the drying time is uh, for example, three hours. Um, so uh, we use lower temperature during the infrared drying. And uh, it's uh, generally, um, if we set up the uh, right parameters, uh, we obtain from three hours uh, with PEF and with the infrared drying, we shorten uh, to one and a half hour. Okay, so generally also the results uh, in the literature show that we can reduce um, uh, around even 50% the, the drying time of the normal drying. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>